Back into the drama that is uh, Tiffany and LVMH. Remember that deal, of course, uh, signed was it? last November. Uh, 135 bucks a share, all cash. Remember, they moved up at the end. Something that Bernard Arnault, the richest man in Europe, seems to regret. Why am I mentioning it now? Well, there was an 8K filed this morning. Uh, they had to extend the merger agreement, uh, as you'd expect, because this is taking longer than might have been anticipated in terms of getting approvals, the key one being from the EU, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, but Tiffany did it unilaterally, which we don't often see. And then there was language uh, that Tiffany shared with us from LVMH in which they said, uh, well, first of all, on August 24th, they delivered to LVMH a confirmatory notice. They extend it to November 24th. OK, all fine. We see this often in deals. Remember how often Sprint and T-Mobile had to extend their deal? But then there's this, that LVMH has notified the registrant. It reserves the right to challenge the validity of the extension of the outside data under the merger agreement. And that is why the stock is down about 4% this morning, because it is once again raising concerns. As I have reported previously, this is months ago at this point, that Bernard Arnault would like to try to get a price cut here. Not walk away from the deal, but get a price cut. That is not a mystery. That is not something that's unknown to the Tiffany side. But what remains unclear is whether or not he's going to be able to figure out a way to try and get it. The latest foray does seem to be at least around this idea of an extension, with the idea being that perhaps you would call a Mac as a result of at least uh, at the time that he tried to extend and therefore say you have the right to terminate. Very much unclear under Delaware law that that would be something that they could do. And in fact, Tiffany has made it very clear, at least uh, in speaking to people close to that company, that they will go to court, that they are not interested in extending any sort of price cut, as you'd expect them to say, to Mr. Arnault. Now, you didn't become the richest man in Europe by being a nice guy. Even if his advisors are telling him, you really don't have that great a shot at getting this, he continues to want to put the pressure on in some fashion or other. All that being said, it's not as though the two companies are strangers. They talk all the time. And in fact, I am told as well that early next week, you are going to get a filing of a formal notification to the EU beginning what would be a 25-day review process for the deal, meaning a close could not be that far away. So if Mr. Arnault is looking for that opportunity to finally say, um, you know, um, price cut or walk, it may be in the not too distant future. But again, guys, uh, this is another COVID impacted deal, not unlike Taubman and uh, Simon yes. Properties, which are going to court in Michigan in November uh, after Simon, of course, just said, we're done, we're walking away, even if declaring a Mac, even if we have no right to actually do so. Uh, a key here, Jim, though, will also be Tiffany's earnings. We're getting them Thursday. Uh, China has been very strong, we've seen, from a number of other companies that have reported results in the luxury area. Uh, so, you know, it may make it even more difficult in some way for LVMH to say we deserve a price cut. And again, they may be searching for that opportunity to get one, right. but it remains very much unclear how they actually will go about doing it. Well, Doesn't mean he's not going to keep trying, as I've said many times. The retail have and have not so far have been the ones that have great e-commerce versus the ones that have don't. I mean, look, TJX, position that my travel trust held, it was a terrible number. Why? They don't have any e-commerce. I, I don't know how much e-commerce Tiffany really has, uh, but I don't think it's known as one of those. And I think that uh, look, it's a great gem that has been led, led fallow. I, I actually thought the last few years was pretty good. Carl, it's a, it, the name was never destroyed. The name was never destroyed.